Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ryan here, and I'm going to do a new segment of this channel. I have since How I Met Your Mother is my favorite show of all time, and season nine premiered at eight o'clock today, and I just finished it around ten minutes ago, fifteen minutes ago. I'm going to do a review of each episode and my thoughts. Um, I'll usually edit it if I have time, but I might just do it like this. But here it goes. I'm gonna do a twenty-four episode, and yeah, so I'm gonna cut to the chase. Wow, I can't believe it. That was the one most satisfying things I've seen in such a long time. Movies, TV, anything. And if you guys don't know, I have the shirt. You guys can't see it. And I have the cup. How I Met Your Mother. I actually have three of these. Actually, four total. And let me tell you, I've been waiting for this episode for so long. These two episodes, and it's actually, it was actually an hour long, these two episodes, which was, I, I know it was an amazing idea for the fans. And I loved all of them, both the episodes. And the thing is that, and this, this is going to have a lot of spoilers, but this is, this is just a really bad constructive review, but okay, season, that first episode, it was interesting because... The beginning it showed 55 hours before the wedding, and so it's pretty much saying 55 hours before the wedding, and it showed three people, all the characters, and each of them it showed what they're doing. Marshall's subplot is, you know, um, he couldn't make it to the flight. I'm gonna say as quick as possible. He didn't make it to the flight, but it turns out he actually, you know, got it. Turned out that Sherry Shepard, I think that's her name. They are going to drive with that monstrous truck. I, I forgot how to pronounce it. And it's only 1.06 miles per gallon. And, you know, I remember I remember learning about that thing, you know, a long time ago. You know, I was like, I heard he couldn't make it to the flight. And I was like, how, how is this going to happen? How is this going to resolve? And it turns out that he's going to make it. He's going to drive. But he has to pay for the gas. And I was like, how is this going to resolve? And it turns out that he now can do it. And about the judge thing? You know, the mud, um, Marshall's mom was about to post a picture on Facebook, I think. And Marshall, the baby, deleted it. And Lily, well, that Lily scene in the train was amazing. That Lily didn't find it. So the Marshall thing, I'm very pleased about. And it was interesting, too. The Ted subplot, when they were in the car, that blew me away almost. Because, you know, he... Was he being himself, you know, with the glove, which was pretty funny. One glove or two gloves, and, you know, Lily left. And I was interested because I remember seeing pictures of season, of the new episode, of him, of her, with the mother in the train. And I was like, how is she in the train? Turns out that Ted... How long is this now? Sorry. I'm going to make it... Turns out that Ted, if you watch this show, you know... Stay as long as you want. But if you don't, you'll have to watch it. Turns out that Ted made, um, had to make Lily go to the train because Lily wanted to leave. Because, you know, Ted was being like, you know, here's a book, you know, we go explore stuff. And turns out that Lily, this is the first episode, that Lily goes to the train and we see the back shots to the mother. And during these two episodes, I was freaking out so much. I was like, oh my god. I was like getting nervous and I was like, so many emotions. I teared up a tiny bit once and turns out and like you know Lily was stressed and the mother talked to her and I was like oh my god they're talking the mother's talking this is amazing and I like the mother too and um, the mother talked to Lily so it turns out that you know they were talking and like the thing is that the mother talks with Lily about you know Lily talked about Ted and what I find amazing is that you know Lily I mean, um, the mother never meets Ted, but it turns out to be her husband eventually. And she thinks, yeah, and she was like, I love how, like, Ted, older Ted, is voiceover, voiceover being a lot of the parts. For example, like, the mother's like, you know what, you know, that's it. And then it pauses. Like, it turns out that your mother loves, you know, like that stuff. And it turns out that the mother meets Lily for the first time. And, like, and Lily said that. And, and Ted said, and that's a story of how Lily met the mother. And I was like freaking out. And they were talking. And I liked the mother. 
at this part because, you know, we got to know her. She's likable. I think she's interesting. You know, she's pretty funny. Um, it's only the first episode, but I, I like her. I don't love her. I really like her, but I need to grow into her more. We, we're getting to know the mother, which I love because I thought we weren't going to see much of the mother. But it turns out we got to know the mother a bit. Okay, now the subplot with Robin and Barney. Turns out, I I remember learning about, like, are they related? Like a sneak peek. I didn't see the preview. I just read about it. I, I didn't read about it. I just saw, like, a thing. I was like, oh, shit, I can't see spoilers. And they said that they might be related. And I was watching it during, and they said that they're cousins because Barney and Robin each have the same cousin. But turns out, and I was like, shocked. No way. And it turns out that they're actually, the cousin was adopted. And I forgot how they did it, how it was explained, but it turns out they were adopted. And thank God, I was so happy. And... They go to, they're finally at the place, um, the Farhampton Inn. But what I find interesting, this is what fascinated me in the first episode. There was one scene, segment, that blew, almost blew me away. Ted never had found the locket in the red box that Robin dug by accident when she was drunk. And Ted never found it. And Ted said that, you know, there's no need to find it now. And Robin said, don't do it because if you give Robin a thing, she might want to marry you in a way. Because it's for something new. But it turns out that, you know, Ted, turns out he never sent her the locket. He sent her a picture of all, of all five of them in that red, in that box. And it's like eight years ago. And I kind of cheered up a bit because it was a wonderful friendship kind of, kind of feeling. So it turns out that, but what I find interesting is that Lily said that, don't do anything crazy. This is the ending, I think. And then Ted said that, and Ted, the older Ted, who was the narrator, said, said, turns out that there was always a wild card. And I thought that he never, I thought he went to Los Angeles in the beginning. Like, is he going to Los Angeles to find the locket? Because it turns out that in Los Angeles, the locket is there. The locket is actually in, how do I say, the locket is, oh, so hard not editing, the locket is at Los Angeles because Stella has it in some way. Because the box, maybe like Robin put it at Stella's wedding or something, maybe she lost it or something. But it turns out that it's in Los Angeles. And I thought Ted was actually going to go to Los Angeles and I was like, no way. But in the ending, this is what, this is going to be a big you know, cliffhanger. I'm really interested in knowing this. It shows four days earlier, and Ted goes to the airport before, you know, the wedding, before um, he's at Farhampton Inn. He says, hi, one ticket to Los Angeles. Stella lives in Los Angeles, so I'm wondering if the mother is not obviously going to be Kristen Malotti, or whatever her name is, the one we saw in Lily the train with Lily. But he goes to Los Angeles. Is he going to find a locket? Did he find a locket already? Did he talk to Stella? I'm wondering what's, what's going to go on. I, I'm guessing that he found a locket in some way. And I remember in the beginning of season 8, they said that, I don't want to talk about something bad happened. I'm assuming, this is my prediction, Ted, something bad happened with Ted. And something something's going on. I'm really wondering. Maybe he gave Robin the locket or something. I don't know. Um... But that was uh, episode one. And this is already nine minutes. Oh my gosh. If you're still watching this, I love you. And the thing is that episode one, we got to know the mother. I under I now know what happened with Marshall. Actually, that's, that's actually episode two. I'll tell you later. And we kind of get a tease of what's happening with Marshall. We get to see the mother for a bit, which, which was nice. Lily doesn't know about the judge thing yet, which I'm hoping we'll, we'll see. We're, we're going to find out eventually. Maybe soon, I don't know, who knows. But Barney and Robin are our cousins, thank God. And, you know, Ted went to Los Angeles four days earlier. And it's structured really well, too. And we got to know the mother, which is a great thing. So I'm going to give this episode... I really like this episode. I'm going to give it a strong 8.5 out of 10. I might like it more when I watch it again. I'm going to watch it like five times the next week. Okay, so episode two. It was starting to be... A little okay-ish, pretty good. And oh, so much the process. So we learned that 
I think this is episode two or one. I don't remember. But correct me if I'm wrong. We find out that James gets a divorce. Barney Stinson's brother. He gets a divorce because, like, you know, he didn't feel like he was, like, you know, cheating on his husband all the time. And um, R Barney thinks that, you know, him, James, James's um, marriage is the reason why Barney believes in marriage. But Barney eventually finds out that he got a divorce, but R Barney didn't care. And he said to Robin, you know, you know, I don't care about that. And that was such a wonderful scene. I was like, oh my god. I was fangasming. I was like freaking out a lot. And, and here's the TV that I watched. Really cool. So pretty much, James gets a divorce. And the one I remember from episode 2. Oh yeah, the monstrous truck. The truck, um, Marshall and the woman, the black woman, going to Farhampton, New York, New York area. So Marshall's going to be okay. He's going to make it to winning. Thank God. And what happens with Ted? I need to talk about this the most. This is... this. I thought the episode was pretty good. Good. And I love the quote, you know, when people... Trust people. You know, people come. People help you. I forgot the quote. The thing is that... This is what... The game changer of the episode. Ted is at the bar... Alone. Oh, he he was with James first. On um, Barney's brother, who's like you know now divorced, and he leaves. It shows Ted, and then it shows the mother. A back it should backtracks, and it shows the mother. And I was like, wait a minute. And the music starts. The scene is so well done. It shows the mother, and I was like, wait a minute. Is mother and Ted gonna talk? But it turns out there's another Ted. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on? Turns out that the other Ted and the mother are the people or from a year after. So it's kind of like they're talking, but it's not them. It's not them literally, but in, in, when we see it visually, it's them. And they said, like, oh, a year ago, you know, I never met you, but I knew I was going to meet you. And Ted said, you know, at that moment, I was like, I'm, I'm going to find you. And it shows Ted, you know, the actual Ted, you know, doing his stuff, being a crossword, you know, being, you know, cocky and stuff. And I found that interesting because what I love is that we see the mother and Ted talking with each other. It shows how they bounce with each other. It shows, you know, how they're doing. So they actually get married in a year. They're actually married by then. Which I found they're either a couple of them. They, they have to be married by then. I find that interesting because it shows them a year after. And Ted, actual Ted, never met her yet. So what I'm wondering is, how is, when is the mother going to be there? The mother has to be there by now. I don't know where the mother is. It never showed the mother only in the train. Maybe, I don't know where the mother is right now in the episodes, but... Oh my god, 14 minutes. Shoot. And it shows the mother talking with the actual, the future Ted, the future mother too. What I find interesting is that, you know, they had good, I like their chemistry because I need to process it a little bit more, but it was going by so quick. And also my dad was kind of, you know, saying, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm watching something because he knows I, I was watching How I Met Your Mother and it kind of got distracted for like a few seconds, but that, that kind of got me, lost me in the zone. But this was like when the divorce thing happened at the dinner, at the lunch table. And this story is so long. So we see Ted and the mother talking. I like their chemistry. You know, they work well with each other. They bounce well with each other. I think, I don't think the chemistry is perfect, but I, come on, it's like the first two episodes. You know, the first time they talk with each other. It's, it's going to take a while. But I like their chemistry. They work, work well with each other. And this is the mother we've been waiting for. And we see, and even the, the season premiere, we see them talk. That is amazing for like Creative Base and Craig Thomas to do that. And that is true. That is wonderful for us fans. I, I love that they give us what we want. We see them talk, which I found amazing. And we see the um, actual Ted right. And when the actual Ted leaves, we see the mother and the actual Ted, the mother from a year after, and the actual Ted talk 
right next to each other. And it's very, it's beautifully, it's beautifully written. This was a really well written episode because Ted doesn't even know she's there because his future mother from here. But the mother and Ted are right next to each other and they haven't met. And it's very, it's very um, poetic in a way. And we see the mother and we just see her, you know. I just can't wait to when they actually meet, which is when she plays the guitar, if you've seen season eight. But yeah, out of episode two, I really liked it. We get to know the mother. We They talk to each other. I'm very satisfied. Everything tied in. You know, Marshall's going to make it to the wedding. And it's really, I really like this episode. I'm give it a strong eight and a half out of ten. I might love it more after I see, the, see it a few more times, several more times, but... I'm very happy with these episodes, so satisfied, I was so excited to see this, waited four long months, and it was worth the wait. I'm so happy about this show, this is a wonderful show, it's not just stupid and silly, you know, it's, it's a beautifully written show, it's heartwarming, wonderful messages, it's a beautiful show, and I can't wait for next week. And they show like, um, what to, what to expect next Monday, and I actually like that because usually they don't do that. But season nine, you know, they're doing that. I find it interesting. And apparently, next episode is, you know, some of the relatives come and they're old. So it's going to be called The Walking Old. I don't know if it's, that's the title, but I don't know how the next episode will be. It might be silly. It might be okay. But hopefully, it's not as it's not disappointing. So yeah, overall, both episodes, eight and a half and a ten. Strong eight and a half and a ten. I really like them. So this video is way too long now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. Go How I Met Your Mother.